of you are here waiting for her. I know. <laughs> she's beautiful. She's funny. This is only her second time Woo! on stage, not having sex, I'm sure. <laughs> Unless she's very sheltered and didactic. She knows a lot of people. So, give her all your love, support, affection, and warmth. Let's hear from Pepper! <laughs> Well, first of all, how unlucky that I went after that guy. Yeah. He was so good. And also, he related to the audience, which I can't do because my kids are here. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm happy to see everyone, uh, except for my brother, but what can you do? <laughs> I wanted to warn you that I... That, oh, wait, someone's talking. Oh, it's a waitress. I wanted to warn you that I don't say anything dirty, so if anybody needs to go to the restroom, uh, to jerk off now is the time. <laughs> so my real name is Pepper Salter. Truly, my mother did it to me. She was called Hortense, and everybody used to tease her. One guy would say, hey, is that Hortense? And another guy would say, no, she looks relaxed to me. So my mother hated her name, and she changed it to Janet. But meantime, I'm shackled with Pepper Salter. Isn't it typical for a Jew to, like, pass on the misery to the next generation? <laughs> That's <my> mom, thanks. <laughs> so, I'm here because some people say I'm funny. I got a lot of laughs at my dad's funeral, and I'm the funniest person in my bereavement group. <laughs> I hope that terrain doesn't kill every time I get water. So, I worked so hard on my material that my computer crashed. And I had called for help, but I forgot the security answers, you know? So I made it my own, and I will never forget these questions or the answers to them. Number one, what's the name of the first dog you put to sleep? Number two, <laughs> did you get it? Number two, what year did you become addicted to Vicodin? And number three, what's the name of the first priest who molested you? Or it could be a rabbi. So when I was 12, I went to Jewish camp, and my boyfriend and I crept behind the cabin, you know, and we're making out. Eventually, he got his hand into my bra, and then he pulled it out. Like, he touched a hot plate. He felt so guilty. We had to talk about it for weeks and weeks. I said to him, okay, we can continue discussing it, but while we are, we are can you put your hand back in my bra? <laughs> Jewish guys, I went to Beverly High. I cannot tell you how disappointing they were. They were as messed up as the guys at camp. Uh, there was actually, a, I don't know, half a dozen of them who said, I respect you too much to go all the way. Who wants that kind of respect? <laughs> and actually, one of them sitting right there. Thanks for coming. Anyway, I went on to college. I had a Catholic boyfriend. He had no problems deflowering me at all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that was one of my sons. Thanks, Will. <laughs> more respect for my kids as I had from when I did stand-up last week, ever, in all my life. Anyway, so my Catholic boyfriend taught me all about sex. He said he could get oral sex performed on him, but it was against his religion for him to perform oral sex on me. Now, honestly, I believed him. I was pretty naive, and I'm thinking, this guy was swallowing the blood of Christ, and he's noshing on the body of Christ, and he's fussy about what comes into his mouth, really. <laughs> Later, one of my girlfriends started dating him, and she was forewarned, so she said to him, <clears throat> sorry, but I can't give you a head because <clears throat> I have acid reflux. <laughs> <laughs> so, he believed it. <laughs> anyway, my mom lost a lot of... Do I sound too loud? Or is it no. like, like this is good? Anyway, my mom, my mom lost a lot of credibility with me, but still I trusted her when she said, marry a Jewish guy and a decent husband. So I listened to her and I did. After, you know, mazel tov, we're walking down the aisle, and I took a hard look at my husband, my new husband, and I thought, even by Jewish standards, this guy is a lemon. I got a lemon. So we got divorced. But first, 
I accidentally got pregnant by him five times. <laughs> They're here tonight. Then I married Joe the Gentile, who luckily was not Catholic, and we had two more kids, seven. So you might think raising seven kids would be like the Brady Bunch. No, not for us. It was Lord of the Flies. <laughs> My uh, five Jewish kids weren't bad. They kind of raised themselves. But Joe's kids, forget about it. <laughs> they were trouble. I just had to close my eyes and pray. <laughs> Number six, whose name I've forgotten right now, he started, he started smoking pot when he was a toddler. And, and he used the uh, wrappers from, from his Crayola to roll joints. Number seven, he got kicked out of high school for selling dope to narcs. Both of them were booted out of Lutheran team camp for getting hand jobs during self-reflection time. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I wish it was booze, huh? Um, so, the police, the cops are at our house so often that I had to tell neighbors we were giving, uh, raising money for the policeman's orphans fund. <laughs> and I needed to go someplace where people understood me. So I went to Al-Anon, and everybody was okay until I shared the fact that I helped one of my sons realize his dream of owning his own marijuana dispensary. <laughs> then they started booing me and kicked me out. And I, I thought, who are they to tell me I'm an enabler, you know? <laughs> so, all this chaos, Joe and I, you know, our private life hasn't been great. Uh, often I've had to employ the eh, acid reflux defense, <laughs> but Joe's outmaneuvered me. He got this big glass jar and he put it on the side of the bed and it's filled with every anti-acid known to man. <laughs> 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 Anyway, one rare evening when everybody was either gone or passed out, Joe nestled up to me and he said, Hey, sweetie, how about you put on something exotic tonight? So I got really excited and I went hunting through all of our costumes. Joe lay under the covers. The lights were low. I hid behind a door. Then I showed a naked leg, which looks better in jeans. Then I came out in all my glory in a giant puppy dream costume with big white rubber gloves. Joe just, I mean, he looked sick. I said, but sweetie, I thought you liked M&Ms. And he said, no, Pepper, S and M. So, <laughs> we worked on it. Everything worked out fine when we realized that M&Ms don't melt in your hands, they melt in your mouth. Okay, well, I didn't know if they were <laughs> So, Joe and I realized that we love our adult children, many of whom are here, who I paid for, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but we want an empty nest. Instead, we have two sons, one girlfriend, hi, Kelsey, one grandson, a daughter, her husband, a housekeeper, a houseboy, 22 rabbits, um, transgender cat, a pit bull, a dachshund, and three ducks, all under a roof. Truth. And it's terrifying. My friends, though, they said to me, aren't you afraid to go on stage and do stand-up? And they said, are you crazy? I'll do anything to get out of the fucking house. <laughs> Fun mommy. <laughs>